New Sangalo kit? You're damn right this is a new Sangalo kit. This might be my favorite one Sangalo's got going so far. <laughs> yeah, this is the, uh, I actually, I literally, I got this like today. It is Belize. You guys were right. Sorry, I didn't confirm that. It is Belize. But uh, the club's name is Virtus FC. Honestly, it's pretty sick. You know what? I'll show off. I'll do a little. That's a cool kit. I mean, that's a very cool kit, isn't it? The back's a little simpler, you know, but the front really shows off my massive muscles. Yeah. But yeah, if you guys, if you guys want to get this kit, if you want to get the other kits, I suppose I'd actually shout out the sponsor that sent this to me. Uh, Singalo has been the official jersey sponsor of the channel for a long time. Exclamation point kits. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, it'll be a link in the description, but you can check out Sangalo. They have a huge Christmas sale going on like 40% off on a bunch of kits from around the world. And we've got a match. I, I actually have the squad set. We're ready. I, I told you I want to play a bunch of matches today. We're ready to drop in. We've got golden arrows, baby, golden arrows at home. And we have seven guys on international duty, which is a bit of a bear, but this is the last match that we have that. So we'll be fine. Favorite to win the Copa? I don't know. Who do you guys think, dude? Who do you think's the favorite to win Copa America? I would say Argentina, just off the just off the top. I would say Argentina. Uh, relax and play your natural game. Alrighty. Go get him, Tiger. You say Mexico is better than Colombia? Dude, have you watched Colombia recently? With your eyes? That was actually like the most eccentric save of all time, dude. The, a Colombian World Cup qualifying was an, that was a, that was a, it was a calamity. Why the Colombia in its last run of competitive matches as a national team was an absolute catastrophe. All right, but geez, Maseko, what is that? Oh, it's still ours. Oh my goodness, it's Dolly. Yo! Portugal's the little down. Maybe there is an opening for like a, a second tier team to step in. Oh my goodness. What a recovery by Olivier Verdone. That is insane that he got to that. Because that was so poorly defended by us before that ball was played. Their starting 11 can usually hold a candle to just about anybody. What are you doing? Would you Denmark Denmark's probably I would say Denmark's probably on that second tier. Uh but Denmark's World Cup qualifying round last time was amazing. The problem is when you get to the big tournament, Denmark doesn't seem to deliver right now. Obviously in the World Cup or the Euros. Uh but the Euros is hard to judge because they literally had a dude die on the field and come back to life and you're like, "Okay. <laughs> that, that's a little hard to deal with emotionally." Ah uh, yeah yeah. All right, it's nil-nil. Honestly, down a man. I can't be too mad that it's nil-nil. If we score this, I'm going to be so pumped. Oh, my goodness. Hit it. That's frustrating. Obviously, we get a draw. In just our second league match, we cook up a draw. Uh, you know, we, we were still the better team convincingly after a 55th minute red card. We've had, you know, seven players on international duty for a month. We managed to win every match during that stretch, except for the last one. According to my understanding of the situation, our players should finally be back from international duty. You know, those seven players we haven't had, which will be for the African Champions League against the champions of Ethiopia. So we should be absolutely abusing these guys. I missed my dudes, chat. I missed all my dudes. Those seven dudes that were on international duty there. I missed my dudes. I did. Go. Innocent Maela. Maseko. Malinga! As much as I'd love to knock them out in, like, the final. Is he on? Yes. Oh, banger. Nope. Morena. Morena. Morena! Oh, that was nearly awesome. As a Bolivian, you can relax, Z. I am, I'm worried about Bolivia, though. I know that it, it, the U.S. has more talent than Bolivia, but Bolivia is used to playing against 
very high level teams and can cause upsets. I watched them play at a previous Copa America. They play with a lot of spunk. You know, they play with the fire and the passion. I just realized they use that word that British people think is funny. Very sorry for that. That's probably going to set the chat off. I didn't mean it. How old's Zahamada? 33. I think he's 33. Oh, love that. Have it. And we're still only winning one nothing. No, I okay. I said South American qualifying section. Suriname, French Guiana, and Guyana have not gone to the World Cup. Nobody's ever really had any issue with Guyana, French Guiana, and Suriname being in CONCACAF, even though they're technically on, like, South America. Hey, yay, 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 Tulani, Sorer. Look at how far away that is. Trinidad and Tobago's not up right now. If Trinidad and Tobago was up, then they could totally get in, but they don't have the top level guys right now to, to get it done. All right, solid win. I'm in 3 0 on the road in the African Champions League. So, where, oh my goodness, Simba from Tanzania just beat an, e an Egyptian team in Egypt. Are they both from Tanzania? Yes. Simba and Young Africans are from Tanzania. I was right. And they're both set to get to the last 16 of the Champions League. All right. Well, nice win. Now we've got Sekakune United away in the league. We, we keep balling. Sabizi, Inda, Verdun, Neo Rapu, Rivaldo, Kutsea, Ilya Shkurin is the focal point. This is an unbelievably good team at this level that we're at. This is an outrageously talented team. We're about to, we're going to demolish the team we're playing against. I feel very comfortable saying that. Sekakune United is also not very good. This could be one of those crooked number type matches. Chris, thank you for the 28, man. The 28 months. Rapu. Neo Rapu. It's still Neo Rapu. Look at him go. Oh, that's easy. There it is, baby. There it is. And it did on that one. Kudumela. But it required a truly exceptionally awesome cross that time. Normally it doesn't. Kudumela. Good save by Peter C. All right, hit it. <laughs> there. Oh, here we go. Brooks. Oh, there's Mabena! Maseko. Uh, Apolis. Oh, nice touch. Wow, did we not square that? You have to, you can't become emotionally attached to all the wonder kids you have. You have to sell some of them because the quickest way to make a lot of money and turn your club into a financial powerhouse is to sell some of the wonder kids you have, right? That's how you erase your debt. Oh, come on, Saavedra. Into the middle. See ya, Bonga Mabena. Everybody is worth it for 300 million. Oh, see a bonga. He was off, surely. Yeah. Good match, though. We were utterly dominant. At Dude, the amount of XG we are creating this year is insane. Look at that number. I didn't realize it was that high. I'm saying look at that number. It's literally not on the screen. Wait till the end of the match. The amount of XG we are creating this season is unbelievable. 4.63. We can't finish our dinner right now, but 4.63 XG in a run-of-the-mill league match. <laughs> Ilya XG screwing. I am. I'm an XG farmer. That ain't much, but it's honest work. You know what I'm saying? We're at home against Kaiser Chiefs in the Soweto Derby. We have a two-goal advantage from the away leg of the MTN, MTN Cup semifinal. So our goal is obviously to see that through, pick up a uh, a win, hopefully at home against Kaiser Chiefs as well, and then we're in the MTN Cup final against uh, Swallows, right? Swallows is up two goals on the Mamelodi Sundown, so might make them slight favorites to get through at this point. Okay, a Soweto Derby. They're rocking a 4-4-2. 
We absolutely need to keep track of Reeve Frostler. He's a guy that's going to cause problems for us. That sucks. But yes, common sense, Gugsy. That was the word I was looking for. Letter of the law is a more complicated way of saying that. All right, Rapu. Oh, good ball back in. Oh, yes, Saavedra. Saavedra! He hit the freaking post. Big fan of uh, Pyramids FC. It's also like a fake club. Not a fake club, but like it was created very recently out of some weird circumstances. So it looks like if we get to the final, it'll be us and Mamelody Sundowns, like always. Rapu. Rapu. On the move. Rapu. Erwin Saavedra. Maselle! Come on, guys. Apolis. Oh, that's a dangerous ball. Ilya Shkurin! Right in front of the away section. Oh, hit it, hit it, hit it! Dang it. Is he on? <sighs> he does have a fear of big matches, and this is the Soweto Derby. Oh, Apolis. Let's see what you got now, Apolis! He was about to prove everybody wrong right there. And then he didn't. Nice. We won both legs of the Soweto Derby semifinal against Kaiser Chiefs. Oh, wow. Wow. Really? We've gone five competitive matches in a row without conceding. Where's the achievements thing? I never get those. <laughs> nice. Cool. I, uh, not kidding. I, I never get those. So October 4th, we're playing the MTN Cup Final. It is, uh, the real humdinger, the, the Classico of South Africa. Mamelodi Sundowns against Orlando Pirates. I am aware of the fact that this is a risk. We haven't been able to completely finalize our scouting of Koba. But I think it is, it is clear to me that he is a very dangerous... <sighs> Just for a reference, guys, he's got a higher work rate than Maseko, so I'm not necessarily worried about the work rate. I'm really just thinking about, like, what what players would we be able to sign with this money if we didn't sign this guy? That's what I'm thinking about. You know what I mean? Uh, probably, yeah, this is just most of the rest of our money that we would have. We really wouldn't have too much money left to spend in, in transfers or anything else. He's so creative and explosive. But he's a good passer. Um, yeah, based off his performance and the level he's played at, Koba's coming to South Africa, chat. Koba's coming to South Africa. We're doing it! And it's absolutely worth it. I can already tell you it's absolutely worth it. He's He's cracked. At this level, he's, he's just completely cracked. We rolled pretty high on the work rate and the balance. It's in the higher half. He tries tricks, cuts inside from the left wing, which is exactly what we'd want from him if he's playing over there. What a way to Stellenbosch, one of the two teams that we failed to beat in the league last year. Hi, Koba. I believe this is your time. You ready for something? You're not ready for this. Koba's going to play inverted winger. Or sorry, uh, he's going to play as a... Really? I'd rather play him as a winger. He naturally cuts inside from the left. His long shots and finishing really aren't that bad. I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have him set as an inside forward. And you know who's still playing, baby? You know who's still playing? Because Maseko's tired and probably can't get through a full 90. It's Lella Mella bad boy, baby. He's still out there. He's still making the team. Uh, I used to have to walk around the construction site to get to um, Crossroads or Crowds to get like the pressed um, Panini. Oh, let's go! How long did that take, baby? 
Okay. I got a double major in history and media studies from UVA with a 3.2 GPA, which was a miracle considering that first year I pledged a fraternity and got like a 2.3 GPA in my second semester. And then second year, I t oh, little oh, bad boy! I worked for ACC Network and a couple of other companies as a freelancer. No, you freaking what a save. Wow, what a save by Ali Ahamada, dude. As a freelancer, you say, nice. No, 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 Stellan Bosch. No. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, what a touch! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, he is the second coming! It's Lelamella, bad boy! Whoop! See you later. Oh, here he is again. Lelamella, bad boy. They've made the mistake. They gave him the ball! Oh, he's got a hat trick! Unbelievable performance from the transcendent 17-year-old, the champion of the Ned Bank Cup last season. Lelamella, bad boy. Cannot be oppressed in this game. Oh, and it's true. It was a perfect hat trick. Oh my God, it was a perfect, it was a perfect hat trick. Head, left foot. Sorry, head, right foot, left foot in that order. He didn't just score a hat trick. He scored a perfect hat trick with an assist. Because what you need to do, so at a certain point, like if this makes sense, like say your game is crashing on January 21st. This is just a hypothetical example. On January 10th, the game broke. Just in this example. So when you get to the 21st, it, it can't get past that because something broke irrep irreparably when you were simulating on the 10th. But... If you have what you, what you need to do is essentially if you have ro if you have rolling auto saves so like three five or ten I always have ten for this reason is you go back through the auto saves go to that point and then try to go on vacation for six months and if you can get through that date that it always crashes then that save file didn't break yet so you can just pick up from that save file and play. Guarantee as much as I can, there will be a save in that 10 file rolling auto save that if you go back from there and vacation forward to check, obviously you don't want the vacation forward to be your actual save. You just vacation forward to check if it crashes at that date. And if it doesn't crash at that date, then you can reload and start playing from that save. All right, we're looking to rotate here. We are looking at a full Cowabunga style rotation. I know I'm like kind of in the background setting my lineup for this match, but I feel better about this team. This is an African Champions League match. Just wanted to get it going. We already have a 3 0 lead in the first leg. This is against the Ethiopian champions, so should be able to waltz this at home and get into the African Champions League group stage. Just got to make sure nothing goes haywire. India, for example, did you know that famous India didn't go to the World Cup when they qualified because of the shoes thing? That's actually not true. Uh, their FA just decided to value the Olympics over the World Cup and didn't want to spend the money to go. So the... And am I saying this because the U.S. didn't win the basketball World Cup that happened recently? Yes. Yes, I am saying this. Uh, oh, he was offside? Come on. But seriously, Olympic basketball is when you get the LeBron James and Steph Curry and that's when you get all the guys there to try and win the gold medal. And that's when you get some really good games. Olympics are meant to be amateur sports. Yeah, they have exceptions for the major team sports like ice hockey and basketball. Also, Olymp <laughs> Olympics just aren't. Uh, they're just not amateur sports. They haven't been for a while. I think they're, they've changed the rules on that sort of stuff. Like, you know, Simone Biles, the amazing U.S. women's gymnastic person, is, like, totally, obviously making a ton of money by being a really good gymnast. Like, I uh, work the space as a huge Toronto Maple Leafs fan, insufferably. Um, Dr. Benji is a massive New York Rangers fan, watches every single game, stays up a lot of the time to watch the games, which is insane. 
Um, but a lot, yeah, a lot of guys in football managers space and the content creator space that I'm in around a bunch of UK guys get into hockey. I think hockey, if you are a fan of soccer, of football growing up, I think hockey is the most accessible sport. Like it makes the most sense mentally. I, uh, I hope he can. Guys, we're losing to an Ethiopian team at home. Thank you. What a goal by this kid. Whirling around here. Saavedra, Serrero, just shoot it. Oh my! Play it, guys in front of you. Draw the defender, play him through. Beautiful, oh my goodness. He was off though. Since I have no perspective on this as an American, what is the worst managerial decision in European football history in your opinion? How about PSG? scoring at Barcelona and then parking the bus and giving up four goals to blow it in the Champions League. Probably not the best example. Warnock, Neil Warnock, said that he played his left back at striker because his wife had a dream that it would work out. And then it, like, actually worked. Oh, the Egyptian team beat the Tanzanian team on the away leg. Raja Casablanca is through against Ashanti from Guinea. Asek Mimosas is through against Baminda. It's time. For the African Champions League group stage draw, there are 16 of the finest clubs from across the great continent of Africa that will be contesting the title of the best club in all of Africa. In pot one, Casa Sports, Haroya AC, Rivers United, Algier, and Young Africans from Tanzania. In pot two, I have no idea how this works. ASEC Mimosas of Ivory Coast, Club African of Tunisia, Hearts of Oak of Ghana, the Mamelodi Sundowns and Orlando Pirates of South Africa, and Wydad Casablanca of Morocco. In pot three, ES Sahel, Tunis, and Raja Casablanca. In pot four, Jazamalek from Egypt. And in pot five, Just Al Ali from Egypt. Nothing here makes sense. So, of course, this also makes absolutely no sense. Let's begin. Alger and Asek Mimosas are joined by ya boys, Orlando Mother <laughs> Pirates. Uh, group C, it's Mamelodi Sundowns joining Young Africans in Haroya. And in Group D, it's Wide Ad Casablanca playing Hearts of Oak and Rivers United. In Group A, the final team. Raja Casablanca from Morocco in group B playing in losing to the Orlando Pirates will be, oh, you piece of. <laughs> uh, it's El Ali, the best team in Africa from Egypt. <laughs> and whatever, Zamalek's playing in group D. Okay, cool. Sick. Awesome. Asek Mimosas, Algier, and El Ali. That was not the easiest group we could have gotten. Absolutely rigged. We didn't pay him. So are we playing Meritzburg at home and then Mamelody Sundowns in the MTN Cup final? Naturally. And then we have the Telecom. Yeah, dude, there's so many freaking cups in the first half of the season. It's nuts. Okay. All right. Let's do this, baby. Meritzburg, it's been a while. Last time I played you, I was coaching the Black Leopards. Not the case today. Now I'm coaching the Death Squad. Yeesh. Oh, red, 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 red. Get out of there, Ndizwa Satole. That's just the guy that subbed in. Dude, can you only score off the bench, Siabonga? Please. Because if that's the case, then I'll just never start you. Just tell me. Just tell me if you can only score off the bench. Oh, get in, Irwin. Zealand's rotating goalkeepers on accident. Thanks for asking. Oh, look at Morena. Oh, it's brilliant. It's Tapella Morena. And it's 2-0. Oh, Tsungu. Oh, nice save. Nice save. Is that a firm pummeling is British slang for something, too? I mean, really anything could be slang for something if you spend enough time on an urban dictionary. So at a certain point, I've got to be able to say some phrase. You know. <sighs> nice goal! Our team is so good. 
This is a fully rotated team dumpstering another team in a league game. There isn't a star. Sorry, Maseko is a starter. Everybody else is a backup. I forgot they... Uh, did I forget that they had gotten a red card? A little bit. I did, I did forget that they'd gotten a red card. So that changes my argument a little bit. I'm going to get Maseko off now that we've scored our fourth goal. Oh, uh, yo, Siobonga, thank you for finally rewarding me playing you. If I see one more, one more Burger King, I'm going to lose it. Uh, oh, well, obviously we're padding Lella Mella Bad Boy's stats. Why would we not be doing that? If somebody's not on a hat trick, which somebody is, I think. Nope. Nobody's on a hat trick, even though we're winning 5 nothing. So this is Bad Boy's. Banger. <laughs> I see one more. I'm going to lose it. Wendy's. In and out. No, in and out. You're right. In and out's the big one in California, but I'd probably go Wendy's. Start handing me square hamburgers. I'm going to get violent on somebody. <laughs> Dorley's no longer concerned at all how beautiful it is, chat. We have no squad issues. One promise to play Talani Serrero in a certain position. Is this the same day as the match? Yeah, it is. So none of these four guys are going to be anywhere near the team on uh, Cup Final Day. So here we go, guys. Cup Final. Cup Final is tomorrow, the MTN Cup. We have battled our way through the Kaiser Chiefs in the semis. A very, you know, on paper tough tie that we won pretty handily. That's a, oh, that's a good team. Oh, that's a good team. Mamelodi Sundowns has stolen enough trophies from me. The league. And they laughed in our face. MTN Cup Final. The revenge tour starts here. It starts with this trophy. Oh, good shot, Koba. Good shot, Koba. No! Yes. Come on. Kutseya. Good man, Maselle. Oh, yes. Who's the big player? Who's the big player? Is it Koba? All right. Good work, Koba. He's got Shkurin. Oh, we're all over him, though. We're all over him, but we just ha we have to make it count. I'm hit it courage. We've got to make it count. We have to make it count. We're into the match now. Come on, Shkurin, lay it off. Maseko, excellent play. Rapu, he's got Koba! And it's the $2 million man who breaks the deadlock in the final. It's Koba! You always want to remove leagues. You'd never want to be adding them after the start of a game. So always start with too many and then you can remove them. Oh, get in! Goal! Cover. Oh, what? There's nothing there, boys. How do we let that happen? There's nothing there. We're in the way of this every step of the way. The pass, the shot. Really? Really, boys? Oh, I like this. Brooks. Oh, it's Ethan Brooks! Of all the players, it's Ethan Brooks. Not known for his goal scoring. How about that? Add some time wasting, lower our tempo. That's so disappointing, dude. We're, we we uh, once again we should have this covered. I that's uh, that's pretty bad from Ali Ahamada. Oh uh, yeah, Yende, their winger is amazing. 
But you know what he doesn't have? An MTN Cup, baby! That's one. Four more. That's one of the cups. We want four more. We've won the MTN Cup. Hi, I'm Zealand. That's it for the edited down version of the stream. If you want to check out the full stream, you can head to the Zealand Streams channel, which is a repository for every live stream I've ever done in full. And you can also check out the Zealand YouTube channel, which if you haven't seen that yet, then how did you end up here? It's good to see you though. Hope you enjoyed. Hope I won, scored some goals or whatever I was playing today. It's good stuff.